Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Afghan Hound. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Afghan Hound Afghan Hound originated in the region now known as Afghanistan, where they were bred as a hunting dog. For centuries, they have served as hunting companions for humans, who rely on them for their speed, quick and independent thinking and panoramic vision, common traits of all sighthounds. Their long coats protected them for the cold and their huge paw pads enabled them to cross the rocky terrain with ease. It was brought to Europe in the late 19th century by British soldiers returning from the Indian-Afghan border wars. By the 1980s, Afghan hounds in America had become mainstays of the show dog and obedience circuits. First, let's have a look at the pros. These dogs are social and loving with the members of their human family, making them a sweet family pet. Energetic. If you are looking for a dog breed that is energetic and pushes you to get out of the house, this is the right pup. These dogs are typically gentle, loving, sweet-natured, and calm, unless they are on the hunt. Shedding. If you are looking for a minimal mess and brushing, these dogs shed surprisingly little for having such a long coat. It's now time to look at the cons. These dogs usually do not stay comfortable in small spaces and need a spacious area to let their energy out. This is not the dog breed to get if you want 100% obedience. Chase instinct. These dogs have very strong chase instincts, which may not be best for small animals or especially excitable children. They will tend to be standoffish with strangers or guests, which is something to be aware of if you entertain a lot. Grooming. Even though they do not shed a lot, it takes a lot of time to groom these dogs because of their long, silky hair. This isn't a great breed for first-time dog owners who aren't confident with training. Although Tartsies are intelligent dogs, training the dog can be a challenge especially for a less experienced dog owner. Interesting facts. Afghans are also sometimes referred to as the scented hound. The dogs have scent glands in their cheeks that emit a pleasant, musky odor. The average Afghan hound can reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. For comparison, the fastest racehorse reached about 44 miles per hour. Zeppo Marx, one of the four vaudeville stars in the Marx Brothers, was among the first to bring the Afghan to the US. Pablo Picasso had two Afghan hounds, one named Kabul and one named Kasbag. They appeared frequently in his work. Appearance. The average weight of an Afghan is between 50 and 60 pounds and an adult typically stands 25 to 27 inches tall. This breed can display single solid-colored coats or bi-colored coats. Black Afghans, blue, cream, red, silver, and white Afghan hound coats are staple colors. Some Afghans will grow a bear called a mandarin beneath their chin, but not all Afghans will have this as adults. Afghan can live anywhere from 10 to 18 years and the average lifespan of this breed was 11.9 years. Shedding and grooming. Afghans have a very low shedding potential and only shed on an occasional basis and that too in a very limited manner. They've only got one coat instead of other breeds, which have both a top coat and an undercoat. Their coat is more like human hair because it's in a constant state of growth and needs regular trimming, just like humans. Daily brushing will be needed to prevent tangles in the coat. Owners will need to dedicate hours each week to this process. A pin brush is best to use. Brush softly to prevent damage to their skin or coat. Baths will be needed every fortnight although some owners do this weekly. Always brush through the coat before getting it wet as knots will be incredibly difficult to remove. Their long ears can be a breeding ground for bacteria in the ear canal. Ensure these are being cleaned weekly. Nails will need to be trimmed fortnightly if they haven't been filed down naturally. Teeth should be brushed at least three times a week although vets recommend daily brushing. Despite the long, silky coat, the Afghan hound really doesn't shed all that much. While the coat is thick, it is just one layer, so you don't have any undercoat shedding to worry about. Cost. On average an Afghan puppy will cost $2,250 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $2,000 and $2,500. An Afghan grooming session can cost around $65, 
Grooming an Afghan hound is a costly affair. The average price of an Afghan puppy in India is around 60,000 to 80,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. Afghan will need more than two hours of exercise each day. They love being outdoors and are better suited to the country lifestyle. These dogs excel at lure sports, tracking, racing, jumping, and other canine sports. Afghan dog racing sports can give your active hound a great regular outlet for all that pent-up speed. Introduce your dog to as many new people, things, and places as possible whilst they're a puppy. No matter the amount of time spent, this breed will not suppress its prey drive. This breed isn't famous for its recall, so always keep them on a leash when in the park. Thanks to their loyalty and devotion to their leader, house training won't be too difficult. Harsh training techniques should be avoided and will cause this canine to withdraw. It is moderately easy to teach an Afghan puppy potty training, provided they have a garden. As soon as they arrive in their new home, the Afghan should be taken outdoors every two hours, and every 15 minutes after eating. Socializing your dog will help to prevent any aggression when your dog is older. So it's really important. Afghan puppies will need extensive socialization to prevent shyness in their older years. With consistent, positive reinforcement training, they are typically easy to house train and learn basic commands quickly. Intelligence. Being a stubborn breed of dogs, the Afghans have the ability to make decisions for themselves. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Koren, Afghan Hound is ranked 79. Understanding of new commands 100 to 500 repetitions and obeys first command 20% of the time or better. Swimming. Some Afghans absolutely love to swim in a big water body, but others might not like to get themselves wet. Therefore, if your Afghan is comfortable around water, then certainly take your pooch to a pool or a beach, but if it seems hesitant to get in the water, then you shouldn't force it to swim. They love to swim when the weather becomes too hot or when they have to save their drowning owner. The Afghans look more beautiful when they come out of the pool after having swimming. Barking. Afghan hounds do not bark all that much, in fact, these pooches are very rare barkers. Some hounds used to bark once or twice when someone stranger visits their owner's home. They only bark when they want the attention of their family members for something very important. Weather and climate. Being originally from mountainous regions of Afghanistan, it is well suited to cold weather. They have a thick and long coat that protects them a lot under harsh climatic conditions and in low temperature areas. Therefore, this is a suitable breed for those people who reside in highly chilly or wintry areas. Afghans have a decent tolerance to heat and can easily thrive in moderately hot areas. But if the temperature outside the house goes a lot higher than their comfort limit, then these pooches may require some kind of protection and care from their owners. Apart from this, these dogs are quite fine in most of the warmer areas in this world. Friendliness. Afghans' large size and independent nature suit them as an adult companion. However, they are not appropriate for children. They will never intentionally harm a child although smaller children could accidentally injure due to their large size. If Afghans are given proper social training, they can learn to become loving and friendly with children. Due to its strong prey drive, smaller dogs could be viewed as prey. To make Afghans friendly towards dogs of other breeds, appropriate early training is necessary, as Afghans do not usually enjoy the company of other breeds. An Afghan will be friendly with other Afghan hound dogs and will cherish their companionship. Cats, like other small animals, are considered as a natural prey by Afghan hounds. They may give cats a sudden chase when around and within sight. So, it is recommended to keep them cautiously leashed. Generally, the Afghans are known to remain quite reserved with the strangers. These pooches are not overly expressive or demonstrative and they tend to remain fairly quiet around the strangers. They can become more sociable with other people through proper guidance and early socialization. Adaptability. An Afghan hound will be happy curled up in an apartment, provided they receive enough exercise. They are relatively active indoors, and a secure yard could be ideal for them. 
The breed can live either inside or outside the house, but they are usually happier to sleep indoors. They will spend much of their time hanging out on the sofa, which will make many apartment dwellers very happy. These canines require a lot of maintenance from their owners and they are not easy to train as well. A first-time owner may himself overwhelmed and overburdened and thus, this breed is not highly recommended to novice or first-time dog owners. Leaving an Afghan alone in the house for a few hours is not that big of a deal as these pooches can live alone if all their toilet needs are properly taken care of. But if these canines are continuously left alone for long time, then they can gradually become fairly sad and disheartened and this can eventually lead to destructive behavior such as furniture chewing and excessive barking. Guard, Watchdog, the Afghan dog breed is intelligent, alert and wary of strangers, making them a perfect guard dog. They will protect and unleash their thunderous bark. The bark is enough to scare off any intruder, along with its giant size. Afghans can often be referred to as being laid back, but they know exactly when to step it up when necessary and spring into action. Drooling. Afghan hounds do not drool a lot. They mostly drool before or after having their meal, but apart from that, they don't dribble all that much. Health issues. Some common health problems are cataracts, glaucoma, progressive retinal degeneration, and hip dysplasia. Bloat, or gastric torsion, happens when the stomach twists. It can be fatal quickly if left untreated. Juvenile cataracts. Eye condition which causes difficulty seeing, usually affecting dogs even at an early age. Have you had any experience with Afghan hound? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.